Hi there, my name is Jenny Penton, founder of Planner Perfect, and in today's video, it's another plan with me. Stay tuned. Okay, girls, whether you're new or you have frequently been here before. I just want to welcome you girls back. I'm going to be doing a plan with me and it's totally candid. I mean, I planned nothing um, and except for my day for today and yesterday. So I'm going to do the rest of my week with you kind of just like what my mind is thinking through as I plan in real time. And I want you guys to really take um, take note of just even just that planning process of if you're new in getting to script and how to how to script your life. I mean, this isn't going to be like anything else. <coughs> um, if you're new, because this is scripting and scripting is just a way of really being longhand about your life and how you plan. And the reason for it is so that your mind kind of takes note and sees, hears, and feels the intention. Um, and it also prompts you to be very proactive about your life, to be um, mindful, to be in real time, and to also be thinking about your future, how you want to live, and if you're actually moving the needle. Obviously, girls, when we are living our lives, whether and no matter the season, we really want to be moving the needle and growing spiritually, um, all of it, spiritually and here. We want to be able to translate that. It really starts in the spiritual, in the spiritual, because once you really develop your spiritual growth, it, it'll translate into the physical for your mind and then even your body will follow suit. We want to be, you know, making sure that we that we eat well and we are taking care of the body. We want to make sure that we are feeding our mind the right things and we're constantly renewing the mind. And um, we want to grow spiritually so that we can really be who we are called to be and actually be doing it. Um, so no matter the season, if you are in the middle in midst of motherhood with little children, you really should be actively using your gifts and talents that God gave you on the daily within your family life and also to serve other people and that way you can strengthen those talents also um, and as being a mom of of eight homeschooled kids i used my talents in in front of my kids and uh that served the family well in that a lot of my children dabbled in art and Several of them absolutely love it. So it's kind of one of those things that you want to you want to um, not just say something and do another. You want to actually walk the talk, and you want instead of saying, "Guys, I want you to live your best life and use your gifts and talents and be all you can be," yet you are not really doing it. Now, motherhood is quite the calling, and I know that. But here's the 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 spin on the word. It isn't your calling, it's a role. And that is, I think, where the trick comes in. I mean, we just we're like, oh, this is so amazing, motherhood. It's 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 my it's my calling, but but really it's your role. And you it's a very high um it is it is needed. We need to do it the we need to be God has got to lead the way. Um, children will grow you. I will tell you that children, your children will grow you and they will make you, you know, know yourself really, really well. And what, things you need to tweak, things you need to learn, things you need to learn about other people, about children, how they operate. It's such a wonderful time. I, 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 I love motherhood. I love motherhood. I love children. I think that they are, um, I just think they're amazing teachers because without them even knowing it, just being childlike, they've taught me much. Um, and so, but you can most definitely be and use your callings with your children and allow them to see you use them so that you can, by action, show them how incredibly important it is to use 
your gifts and talents because God will indeed use that um, because he's endowed you with certain gifts and talents so that you can have your calling and your purpose. And everything in this world that God created has a purpose. From a tree to, to a gnat, there is a purpose. And aren't you more important than that? So let's just, um, if, you, if you really don't think that you have any, you do. And so it's mo mostly what you love doing, what you, what you kind of trend to, what you go through. Dabble in some things and figure that out. But there is a calling on your life. And it's not that your talent per se is the calling as much as that will be used for the calling. So um, no matter the season, I want you to, to plan a life that has some goals, some future goals, where you're going. And then every day is a written script of how you're going to get there. And you can actually watch that story unfold page by page by page of where you're going, that you're moving the needle, that you're going here, you're moving there. You can go back on these books and these platters and look through them and say, wow, I really come a long way. Even if you thought that you didn't, you are. And, um, God's timing is always impeccable. Our character is always his top priority. And, you know, our character has to be built up to a place even for, you know, blessings and, and, and promises that he has and the favor of God to flow so that we're ready for them. We have to, we build upon as our character grows. Um, you know, we, 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 we are able to receive more because we've done well with what we have and um, it just as it goes you know you need to really grow spiritually to receive from God more and more as you as you develop your uh, develop your character so let's go ahead and dive in I'm also going to tell you um, I am in Harper a5 and sometimes I just love the fact that you can change out your leather and you can change out your books if you're new to travelers notebooks to plan in one of these is like a dream and women get bored. I think, I think who wouldn't? I mean, if you have some, well, men, I, I just go for my husband. He could literally look at something for eternity and never get bored. I'm like, but I think that's just how they're wired. Unless, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm like, wow, aren't you bored of that? I would have gotten rid of that a long time ago. I mean, I can't look at that for very long. But I love the fact that you can change out your leather and you can change out, you know, your artwork according to what, you know, wherever you're at. I, I just, I absolutely love it. This is an A5, but I wanted to also show you something new that is coming to my store um, more towards uh, late summer, fall. And that is the black pen case. So I, I don't, if you don't know the other ones I already have, I have a tan and I have a green this is the one I'm in right now and um, and I have my tan one for my Bible um, time and you can look watch that video um, I'll try to remember to leave it in the Dropbox down below but it's I love the tan one that one I love because of my Bible all that is really in the nudes realm and so I love that tan pen case so this one I love this classy 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 absolutely 100% amazing and I'm just gonna switch over to it because well, I just want to, and it matches my, um, my Harper and I love it. So this is just classy, white and black. I mean, it's always a sophisticated thing for me. And anyways, I will, when I turn you around, I'll kind of show you more in detail what this is, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting fall, but you'll know more as, as I do on exact date and time of when this will be coming. So, you know, I'm going to transfer everything over in front of you as well. So I don't want this move, this, this video to go too long, but I know you guys like these plan with me's. Let's just, I'm going to turn you around. Let's get going. Okay, girls, here's an up close and personal. Got some, my favorite right tech pens. These are kind of everything I'm loving at this point. Um, so this coming around the fall. These are in the store now, this and a tan one, so I will link those below. You really can't get enough of these. These are so great on the go, in the house, on anywhere. I mean, it serves a purpose with anything you could even think of. So we'll take a closer look if you're new. Um, but the black is just, a, just an essential. We've got to have a black. And also, I have a red coming. Perfect for Christmas. 
okay? It's gorgeous. So you gotta have those wonderful colors, some for spring, some for, you know, whenever, like the tan, and then you've got this black and red. So here is my A5 Harper, but before we do that, let's go ahead and just do a really quick switch um, so I can get everything kind of put over. This you could put one of our charms on here, so that would be super cute and fun. And here you've got all of this. It's a reinforced, by the way, um, pen loops to, to put your pens in your tombos. This is an extra one for more pens, but you also have the option of taking it out. I mean, is that not pretty cool? And then you have here with these, this wonderful elastic for washi tape. I mean, how amazing. And then you've got this cute little pouch to put scissors, whatever you need for your planning accessories or whatnot. So this, I kind of, it's kind of a train wreck in here. So I'm gonna kind of just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with some of these pens. I, I like these, these are like that Yobi they're called. I got those at Target. Um, I like those. And then I like these, I like to color coordinate my month and then I'll swap it out. But I've got these Tombows, kind of springy. So I'm just gonna start putting these in. Some women ask me, these Tombows are so old. Um, but this is like a 177, this is a 32 nine what i'll try to do is leave it down below this is a 603 and a 526 i've got these wonderful well i'm not gonna put that in there but sometimes I like, now let's see if these, yeah, these fit in good. I wanted to have, I like to have these little fun colored pens, you know, just in case I want to do something fun when I'm planning and have a different color. It helps, you know, kind of showcase another, put bring your eye attention to it. So I think for me, I am definitely going to do this one too. I have some click art ones too. I'll put all the Yobi ones over here and then I'm gonna put some of the click art. These look like the same. It might be off just a little bit. And then the Right Tech, they're a gel pen and they're outrageously amazing. They're my fave. They're on my Amazon. Okay, and then I'm going to put in, oh, here's another one. Okay, so cute. Now I'm going to do my washi. This is from the... Um, April box. I was going to be putting the May box ones in here, but that one has not really been released. So I'm not going to, that's a surprise. So I'm not going to reveal that one. I like having these for doing little tabs if I want to. I also have other ones, but just stick these ones in here for right now. I've got my scissors. How cute is that? And then here's one of my um, magnetic clips. I have, they are coming, and I actually forget when. I think it's summer, but they are actually shaped like a square. I have yet to show you that prototype. I will be showing you that really soon. Um, but super, super cute. You guys are gonna love my Daisy magnetic clips. They're going to be fun. Now, I actually, this is my bunny. It's awfully cute. I think I'm going to put that there. Cute. 
Then you gotta have glue tape and you must have white out. It's, it's an essential. And I like to have this, do I have it on? Oh, I'm gonna stick that on my hand. Oh, I didn't get this secured. <clears throat> okay, so there we have it. Totally amazing. You girls know I gotta put my lip gloss in there too, right? Essential, essential. There we have it, all set there. These, which these are in my store as well, they're little, I don't know what you'd really, they're like bookmarks, I guess. I think I want to put it in between the book. There we go. See how cute that is? Super cute. Okay, let's dive in and paste knot. So I love this charm. This charm is also in my store. Of course, if you're new, these are my watercolor artwork on charms. They are super thick, super delicious. Um, it says planner perfect on the side and it has a little gemstone on each one. There it is right there. It's hard to tell, but there's a little, little rhinestone in there. So, um, got some fun things. Um, just little things that I use. This is also in the store. They are going to be limited. I don't know if I'm going to carry them again, but I love them kind of poking out of my planner like this. So they, we do have some in the store. I've kind of got a little notebook in here that fits beautiful in these big pockets. Um, I've got my April calendar that was in the April box. Let's just dive right in. I actually even have this, which is my Stalogy lookalike kind of planning my YouTubes in here. Um, loving the paper. Everything about this I'm in love with has a cute little, um, what do they call these little ribbon dividers and um, these will be hitting my store here pretty soon with my artwork on the front. I'm in love. So let's go ahead though and dive into my week, shall we? So um, Okay, so like I didn't even finish today. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out actually. So I can I've kind of been using this Tombow green. Oh, and also it says planner perfect on the zipper here. Sorry, so I'm gonna show you that detail. It's really cute. And of course, this is my watercolor charm that's on there, which I'm in love with. This I used for my weeks, the tabs. So, I'm gonna take out a couple of my favorite washies here. Sometimes I, you know, like this one, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave that washi off. Sometimes I put it on, sometimes I don't. Like I, just kind of all depends. I love my Write a Better Story one. This one is definitely going to be staple in the store when I get the everyday st stickers and washi in there. Um, you need for sure to be having you know, your plan for your life in every way, such as do not, just do not forget your diet, your body, what you're putting in it. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You must. Do a couple of blue checks. I like these blues. They go in the purple I love. Which the purple Tombow I have. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a 603. Mm -hmm. 
So let me just kind of even, uh, this is actually, this is today. But let me go through that today. And also let me grab my stickers because I was even waiting to kind of use them until we were together. Okay, but so so for um today I had um I had my nails done today. I also but so I had to coordinate and do some things. So I remember when I was sitting with my kids on the couch last night, I planned in more detail this day. But I how I get up now. So I've been getting up at six. I um and then I'd always do my devotions. And I have a routine with how I do my devotions. And you can check out that video, um, the one I posted down below. And then when I do my breakfast and I do, um, I'm just really plant-based right now. And I've been doing just veggies and like potatoes. Or sometimes I just do a big bowl of strawberries and bananas for breakfast. But let me tell but also I've been also taking care of my thyroid. So... I always say, you know, the thyroid is such a, that was something that was unbeknownst to me, that my thyroid really wasn't working and functioning properly. And it really is a heavy hitter with everything that has to do with our body. So always just make sure your thyroid's optimal. So as I've been doing that, I've been taking care of my body, feeding it right, boosting my, I am on armor right now to boost the thyroid as well as a raw desiccated thyroid and taking certain supplements. Um, so I just really write all that down in in detail. Um, and then I do a shower, wash. It's wash hair day. Okay, so some I skip a day. I go every other. And then I'm dressed and ready, and I'm going to be leaving by 9.30 to get there by 10. So I wrote it out in very much detail. So then I'm talking about stopping by Target. And then here, see now, as I even write, I will go into like, well, maybe I won't, maybe I'll get it at Thrive Market. Okay, so, but that's me. That kind of thorough detail is how my brain just really gets things done and accomplished and I can see it all going on. And right there, I stopped my planning and and look at how it's like done in first person. And I did it yesterday. It's just really, I'm always like, like I already did it. That's why my day flows so well. Cause I feel like I, I'm already feeling the day before it happens. I'm, I'm just like, I'm living it. And so I just stopped, I was doing, went on, got, went to thrive and got some stuff that I needed. And I, and so this was basically obsolete, but it was something that was thought about, thought about it. That part was already even done, you know? And so that's pretty cool. I, I actually love it. It's like living in real time, planning, doing all of that and it's even the day before so here is some things for business I don't want to really say it too much out loud but I don't even know if you can read my writing anyways but we do have a big leather restock coming so stay tuned because I'm going to do another video just on that um it's actually coming this weekend so if it, here in the week of the April 15th week uh let's see um Oh, well, tonight I'm going live over my Facebook group. Girls, if you are not a part of my Facebook on, you know, on Facebook, on my fans group, you need to be. Now, over there is such, that's all like-minded women for Planner Perfect with scripting your life and writing a better story. I also go live every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central to just really share inspiration and to help you guys get unstuck and inspire you to um, live your best life. So that's, you know get over there for a really great community. Um, really wonderful women. Um, so here we, uh, some things I wanted to kind of do, would love to clean up my fridge today. So that was something I knew I needed to do because over the weekend, we just really had a really busy weekend. Of course, kids came over for dinner, blah, blah, blah. So I, um, that's something I really wanted to do. And I wrote that down and I, and this hasn't, and, and I didn't get to this yet. So here, oh, take Brock to get his hair cut. So now he came along with me to get my nails done. It was really boring for him, but we got her done. Um, and so walk today, even in the, 
if, if it breaks from the weather because it's been rainy, rainy, rainy. Um, but the wind is almost hurricane, so uh, I'm not doing that. So I think I'm going to be walking on my treadmill tonight. So I can hear my dogs. I'm going to I'm writing down walking tonight on my treadmill 30 minutes after my live chat. I do want to have dinner ready. Have my dinner ready by five ish. I really want to make sure that we kind of have a really nice sit down before I go live. They're fed, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will. Cleanup kitchen, my husband usually have the boys kind of do some, and then I'll finish up the rest of cleaning. So after my live is when I'll do that. So then I will walk for three minutes on the treadmill, and then it's jammies for me. And then I look over my plans. And um, usually we'll do a movie and then I love to read and then do my gratitude. I have that in my gratitude journal, I pop out. And then to bed by 10, 10, 10, 30. So that's my plans and I'm gonna stick to that for reals, which I always do. And that is like my day today. Let's just, I really need to get my yellow Tombow so I can do my, my weather now. I need a yellow and I need a gray. So that's something I'm gonna run downstairs and go grab. So this is tomorrow. So this is something that I've already been thinking about. I got a little leg start on it. It is a no wash hair day tomorrow because Avi did it today. Um, <clears throat> so breakfast of fruit. It's just easy for me. And I've got to go early again to a NUCA appointment. So that's when they, they check my neck and they do it really gently. It's not like one of those other chiropractors. They're, it's really, really cool. It's actually changed my life actually. <laughs> um, and let me know if you girls ever want to know anything more. If you guys have neck issues at all, or suspect you might, um, let, I will let you know, uh, let me know down below if you have any questions about it because um, they're pretty amazing what NUCA specialists can do for your neck because chiropractory can actually make it a little bit worse when cracking and popping because I've had that happen too and that wasn't very effective at all. It actually made it worse. So anyways, uh, so my now knowing that this is one of the big things I wanted to do. So I even kind of had a chat with my kids already yesterday thinking, okay, guys, it's going to be gorgeous out. It's going to be 70 degrees. We got to take advantage of it. The weather's kind of going to suck the rest of the week and weekend. Um, so we kind of really love to do things around that kind of a scheduling. So I, I do that and I talk to them. I talked to them the night before. I talked to them a little bit today for it for tomorrow. And I go, guys, do you want to come with me? And then let's go to Panera and then let's go golf at Milt's. And then we'll come home and we've got then the afternoon. Um, so this is, I also, I said fruit. I, my boys, Blaine could have this organic cereal I have, but we'll go, Blaine, Brock doesn't really, he's not a breakfast guy. So I'm gonna, so head out with boys at 930, no later, cause it's quite a bit out there. And then we're gonna go to Nuka, and then, um, what is this? Oh, these are the kind of questions I wanna ask Marcy, the, the Galath and Nuka. So I am definitely going to um, go over this tonight. And I wrote down everything that I really wanted to talk to even Katie, she's a nutritionist there, so I'm gonna, go over all of this with them tomorrow when I'm there. And then after that, so I'm having the boys come with me. I say right there, we're not gonna, they wanted to maybe go to Top Golf, but we're not. We're gonna go to But first I'm writing 
Panera. Bring my own dressing. So I'm gonna bring my own dressing. I don't like, you know, I'm sure they're using canola oil. I just try to stay real clean. Oh goodness, my dogs. Um, so I'm gonna bring my own dressing and then off to the golf course. So that's gonna be kind of fun because we have done lessons in top golf and we've done a couple of putting and we've done driving ranges and all of that, but in terms of getting right on the course and going for it, we have yet to do. So we're doing it a first time tomorrow. So today is the day. So I'm gonna just kinda do this for fun. And then, you know, golf for real. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then this should take us, I mean, 11, 12, 1, 2. We'll probably be home. Home by 2.30. So at that point, okay, so here I've got, I, I, I'm thinking all this through because if I, there are some other goals I had in terms of cleaning this week I wanted to do, but after you golf and you're up early and all that, there's no way I'd want to be cleaning out a mudroom, but I will do watercolor. So I, there's, I'm starting my faith kit right now. So I'm going to get going on that and spend about an hour. Okay, so that's just kind of letting me know how much. Oh, and then grounding outside, getting outside barefoot, which is just really healthy for the body. I actually have a YouTube video on that and more information. Um, don't wear sunglasses outside, I wrote down. <laughs> so when golfing and like spending time outside, maybe go after that, go sit outside again. I just, I, we love being outside when it's nice out and we can. So um, without looking at my dinner plan, I don't, I'm not gonna write anything down here just yet, but prepare dinner and grill out. I can even do the grilling. Or John, it just depends if he's running late on stuff and he can or not. So um, plenty of veggies to grill and I've got these I do have some I'll have to see what John could grill out for the boys and himself and then we'll have a really great dinner so here is where I could definitely And then, you know, I like to get real serious about my evening. So here I, of course, normally I like to take my walk. I've been walking every single day and sometimes twice a day. So here, if, if I'm up at six, breakfast, taking the boys with me, um, I actually do think that I definitely am not going I'm going to take a walk in the afternoon that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to take a walk with the dogs around four so I'm even noting that time because if I'm home around 2 30 here then and I'd do some art, you know, for about an hour, go outside with the boys a little bit, run around in the, with my feet in the grass and play with them outside or something. And then I could go take a walk with my dogs. And then since grilling is really easy, as long as I have everything out and ready, all we gotta do is just put on the grill kind of a thing. I think we're gonna be pretty cool. So, loving that. 
I need to be thinking about my flowers soon. I'm planting flowers. I'm kind of excited about that. So then after dinner, um, sit outside, eat outside too? Question mark. Well, totally see. That'd be kind of fun. Um, do some mores. That'd be kind of fun. Let's see. Now, see, here's where I'm t t thinking out loud. Uh, you know, being gluten free, I think for um, I have simple meals. Graham crackers. I don't know if you've seen them though. They're about this small. Um, so I'm wondering. I'm not gonna. It's not even even close to thinking that I'll be able to make homemade ones with this kind of time crunch of what I'm without being stressed about something silly. But um, I'm going to say that we could use the simple mills, but make So I found a really good uh, gluten-free flour. It's called Better Batter, and I really like it. Normally, I do try to keep um, my kids also grain-free, but I, you know, without really, I don't all the time. I mean, this one is just rice flour and some tapioca starch. I may do that and for a treat and have him be able to, my kids, use that. And because uh, I have a really killer, great graham cracker recipe. It's on Planet Perfect Meals. Um, dot com, my food blog, and I just think I'm going to make that this week so that we can do some mores, especially for Sunday dinner. So see, my mind already went that way, and I'm stoked. I think that's definitely what I'm going to do. We could do little puny ones here this week, but I want to make some so we can do them with for our big Sunday family dinners that we do. So that'll be fun. So I already would have had my walk-in. We can kind of chill. Um... Put dishes in dishwasher. Start. I want to make sure my laundry. Here I want to make sure. Make my bed. And get laundry started. Before I go. make dressing. Okay, so I like this idea. Yes. Sunday. Dessert. That'll be that. How fun, fun, fun. What am I doing? Jammy's Gratitude, reading a book or Bible. I'm just loving this. You know what I mean? It's just, you mean, talk about just now. Yeah, I just, I love, I just love all of this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I might tweak it, add to it, you know, and I've kind of been even taking 
I mean, dare I say, I've been taking my planner with me. I feel like a million dollars while I do it because any time that I do take a little bit of a break, I kind of sit down on that Panera with the boys or whatever. I'll kind of sit, look through it, add to. I, I'm in love with it. I, I always just never did, but now I do. And I actually just even carry it in my, you know, in my arms. I'm just because it's so classy. Um, so even tonight, I'm going to kind of go over this because I'm going to go over my dinner. And so I'll get more, a little bit more descriptive here. But as you can see, the descriptions just, I mean, man, I feel like this life is lived in my mind and it feels beautiful. Like I want to live a beautiful life and I know you do too. Um, you know, sometimes women will say, and I get you because I've been there. Like, what do I do if I've kind of got like, what if I'm, I'm healing my body or I'm not feeling good? And you know, how do I plan a tomorrow? And, and I say, you know, be realistic about where you're at and know where your season is. But at the same time, planning things that, that are healing and a beautiful life within that season with that knowing that you're healed. You know what I mean? You've got to keep your mindset with God's promise. Have the scripture of his stripes that you're healed. Have him have the scripture that you know that he heals all your diseases and that that it is um, in there for you to meditate on and to renew the mind as you move through that season. Always not having a day that's maxed out, you know, in hopes that you know, you want to be kind of realistic in the same way, though, but in that same vein, you want to make sure that you are, um, you know, still in a great way with where you're at, plan a beautiful, productive life as well. And, you know, moving yourself a little bit, not succumbing to something as much as you're moving forward with it slower maybe, but you're getting up and you're telling the body what to do instead of the mind always telling it, going off of what you're feeling. So in part of that journey, it's that steady balance of like, hey, moving towards mo knowing how you're going to change your diet, knowing how you're going to help heal. Maybe that some stress has gotten to where you were. Usually stress is 99.9% .9 of why we're at where we're at. And then you got diet. Um, but you know, that's another topic, but you move toward it. So plan a beautiful day, regardless of your season, plan that beautiful day. I mean, when you have small children, don't, don't act like you are gonna have this life that like, if you were another woman with no kids, I mean, so you've got to always be planning a life that is the season of where you're at yet still moving and writing out that beautiful life and writing that better story growing yourself. So here you're growing yourself by having, you know, a devotional time in the morning, you're reading at night, you're with your children. So that's pouring into them. Uh, or you may be with your grandchildren, or maybe you're with someone, another, some other, some wherever you are, you're pouring into someone else or they to you. And it's just kind of that back and forth. And then, you know, you like here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Anuka. So I'm taking care of myself. I'm going to love me first. It's that oxygen ma mask first girls. Um, you know, I don't ever dabble in in any kind of anger burst. I mean, I used to, or thought pattern or anything else that's going to get me um, some consequences that I'm not going to want to, you know, reap. And I want my harvest to be a good harvest. And so I think through things differently. Like, you know what, I I don't need to be upset, and I just really just let things go. I'm letting things go. God can handle any injustice. God can handle anything I feel and where I feel weak, he's strong. I'm letting things go so I can stay in his flow. I want to stay in connection with him. And when I start diverting outward and going into the carnal area, then I've lost my flow. I got to stay in the flow. And I feel like my day is doing that. When I get that recipe and that, that, that dinner thing down, man, I'm going to... It's just a flow of a beautiful day. It's also taking care of yourself physically while being with my sons. I'm going to go golfing. So it's kind of one of those things where you can see where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm enjoying life. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go here. We eat at Panera. I bring my own dressing because I care about my health. I'm going to Nuka to making sure my neck is going back to where it should be. Um, I'm going to take a walk for physical activity and that way taking my dogs whom I love, um, feeding my family a nutritious dinner. 
um, sitting outside thinking of s'mores, already thinking ahead for the Sunday dinner with all my children and adult children and grandchildren and thinking about how I can make that fun. Already thought about making s'mores. I always make everybody go gluten-free when you're with me because that's just how it is. And everyone loves it and they can't even tell. So it's always just so amazing. Um, and then just down to my jammies and the good skincare and washing my face and reading the Bible and getting my gratitude and going to bed by 10. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a beautiful life. That's a woman who is taking care of herself and, and moving the needle. Okay. So let's do one more day. I always say this. I get so, I get to talking girls and you know, I don't want this a two hour. I, uh, honestly, I really don't. And I don't think you do either. I think I might have a brush lettering tutorial. Not that I'm a master, but, and if my camera's shaking, my apologies. I can kind of see it. Let's do blue. Because we just love being different each day, why not? Kind of go with my washi for the month too, which is kind of fun. So, and then I always just write the date down below it. It's gonna be the 18th. Okay, then let's just lay down some beautiful washi here. I think I wrote down what the weather's gonna be, but I don't think it's gonna be neat, quite honestly. But I tell you what, diet is just really important. Ladies, we no more just like, well, and we gotta get fit. I mean, we're gonna have to get fit. If you wanna really live and have a body that moves you around well and you feel good and you look good and and you want to run with your grandkids and your kids and you're going to have to do something about it. And I remember I would try to not find every way not to be able to have to do something about it, but by golly, I've got I got so much to live for. I ain't I'm telling you what. Hello, little Robin. Let's do these little boots, because... Okay. So, let's see if I have anything written down. weeks here. Uh, oh, <laughs> I ordered my grandson Waylon golf clubs and I was reminding myself that he gets it today at his house because he's like, whammy, I want to golf too. And I guess he's golfing. Okay. So up at 6 a.m. Let's go through a full day right here. Okay. We're going to go through a full day. So we're at 39 minutes right now. And I, an hour, man, I hope you got coffee because we've got dinner. We've got lunch. Okay, so I think today with yesterday, the, the day, I, wait, did I put down the weather? I forget. No, I did not. But I know that it's not good. So... I'm gonna have this be a home day. And when I have like a golf day, beautiful day by that, and you know, it's just that kind of in out, you know, you kind of balance it balance it all out. I think I'm gonna have this be day at home. Like today, I did some different fun stuff with Blaine and his, um, what he wanted to learn and some stuff. So tomorrow I'm gonna really focus on Brock and then I'll do Blaine as well. But I know Brock wanted to work on some stuff. He wants to be an engineer, he tells me. So we're getting him all ready and then, he can go to this uh, local community college at age 16 here. He turns 16 this month. 
and um, pretty great. A couple of my other kids have done that. Okay, only to say that we will do some, it'll be a cozy day. So I'm gonna just say home day. Uh, learning, even though we do it every day, we've been known to do algebra at nine o'clock at night. Just cause we're feeling like it. Up at 6 a.m. I always have to take the Armour Thyroid an hour before coffee. So I like to write it down because my mind, I, my mind, my mind wakes me up at five. <laughs> so when I write it down, I'm like, thank you. So up at 6 a.m. and it's coffee and Bible. I like to read through, because I'm reading through the Bible, and then I take a segment and I meditate on that. And then I'm gonna work in my, um, and you know what else too? I love days where I have like a busy day um, well, I like these kind of days, but then I liked them to have a chill day. It, I mean, it sounds funny, but it's like, I, I like a day where I don't have to be somewhere. I mean, I actually love that a lot. So, um, oh, you know, we, this is also what we talked about, Brock and I, the boys. I will write that down here because I don't want to forget. We'll do that in the late morning and do this in the afternoon, like what I want to do here. But... Um, he, he needs to practice his driving a little bit more before he gets his license. So drive around with boys. Okay. Brock, drive. Um, and practice parking. And then... Maybe grab a Starbucks or something and have him through drive through. He's a little nervous of that, so now that means I gotta take him through. I've had one of my daughters actually go through the bank and I was teaching her how to go through the line and uh, you know, and she went up, up on top of a concrete median and completely damaged my car almost took the whole bank down with her i'm um, pretty bad pretty bad um work in my devotional books and i'm up here i wanted to kind of get that down and then it's breakfast and this is when i kind of take my little my supplements i have a few that i take so fruit and Then I'm going to, they're going to need some breakfast, so make their, uh, they love these gluten-free pancakes I make. Have batter out and ready, because they can make their own, especially if I do a, get, take out the waffle maker, usually it's waffles I make. So they can make that themselves if I'm walking, if I go out walking or something. So then I'm going to shower, then take my shower. Was this a wash hair? No wash hair. This is a hair day. That means it takes me a little longer. <laughs> so then dressed, I'm going to make my bed and I'm going to start laundry. do any folding. Now, even though it's not going to be a nice day, it's not going to be a rainy day, so walk the dogs. 
Okay, so that takes, that is a half hour. I love listening to my favorite pastors. I don't know if you guys know Jerry Savelle, but I just heard about his passing and I, I literally have been mourning since yesterday. Like it went into my dreams. I was just sad because he was, he was someone that I really loved. Um, so here, okay. So my mind is like, okay, okay, okay. Drive around to kind of a, they ate, then I've already eaten, come back. Um, you could probably get the, put the dogs in the car, take the dogs too. They love it. We come back with Starbucks and we can get going onto this. Maybe eat some lunch here. Um, I need to think this one out. Um, let's see. I What I love is using the air fryer a lot. So I bought some really good organic wings. Air fryer. Um... Then I like to, I make my homemade ranch with veggies so they can kind of snack on that while they wait. And I could actually have some of that too, but I think I will just do a big, huge salad and have sweet potatoes. That's going to be me. Then, since it's kind of cozy, we're doing some lessons. I think, you know, I hate to say, I don't want to get too busy with what I'm doing, though, because I need to focus on them. But I'm definitely going to do a segment of homeschooling here. Or learning and then cleaning. And then I'm going to bake. So I don't want to bake... Or do I? I could because I could freeze them. So I think I'm going to do this. The I didn't mean to write some more, but the, the graham crackers. It's a new flower, so that's why I really want to try that out. Graham crackers. Test out for the boys. And freeze until Sunday. That'll be fun. Also, make banana bread. They love it. I'm going to make them into bars too. So they can be nibbling on that while we do. Coffee and bars. That'll be yum. Then cleaning. I think I'm not going to do anything to that pantry, man. That is such a task, but you know, I'll do the mudroom because that was part of my goals. I don't know if you guys remember my goal list, but here I've got several different things that for my goals, but one of them for cleaning was mudroom, pantry, and closet, and I've got to do all of them yet. I think I'm going to do the mudroom because when I do the pantry, no one else can bug me, and I've got to have the whole afternoon because that's going to be, I'm telling you. But this mudroom thing, I feel like I might need to get some baskets, so check this out. This is the beauty of writing this out in real time. Now, see, if I'm going to do my mudroom, there is a segment in my mudroom that I really want to really be organized. I would love to see baskets lined up rather than what I've got. It's, it's a trash pit right now. And coats that nobody wears. That's basically what it's filled with. Um, and I think Bella's cowboy hat when she used to do horses when she was 12. She's 20. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff that Jenny needs to get out of there and clean. So mudroom, but I want baskets needed. Now, one of the things that my mom used to always teach me is, is you know, to help you even give, get excited about cleaning, you could get some new cleaning supplies or get things that you'll need. So what I'm going to do is, since I exact, I'm going to scope out, see how many I'll need before I go, but I'm going to do this. I'll have Brock take me to Target and we'll grab some baskets to organize the closet 
in Mudroom. I mean, I'm getting, I just don't want any question, but I just want my mind to take note and I'm just writing it all completely out. So here I've just made everything very feasible, very like that's what we're doing. Look at this beautiful cozy day. Also, fold in between projects. You know, it's like bringing down, I got a whole bunch of linens of the kitchen linens, bring those down in the laundry while I'm helping Brock with algebra, so. And then Blaine kind of got him into English and spelling right now. So I'm gonna have him work on that. I'm gonna have him do a little bit of math too. Some things that I don't need to be totally hovering over, yet at the same time, it'll be kind of, they can kind of still work independent of me once I get them going. Um, so it's not gonna be that great of a dinner, uh, outside type of a dinner where you're grilling. I think we're gonna do more inside. I like to always kind of mark, like, yeah, breakfast, we've got dinner. So we're gonna do a cozy dinner inside. I'm gonna think that one through. I gotta go, again, I don't remember off my list what I had, um, so I will have to do that. Clean up. They always shower at night. Watch a movie. And this is something even that I very well can be adjusting, adding. I'm going to get in here with this dinner, kind of getting creative and fun with that. Um, here, I've got walk the dogs in between right here. Maybe something, this could even be um, a verse that I'm meditating on could go right here, you know, um, and put that right there. I mean, put some big quotes and do that. That's probably what I'm going to do. And so this is, I mean, these are, look at, I love different looks for different days. I, I do. Um, girls, I, I, this is girls. We've already hit an hour. I mean, I hope that, you know, I just want you to see in real time, like how that your, your mind needs to be rewired for this kind of stuff so that you, 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 you don't limit God. God needs to use you. Let's take care of our temple. Let's put the oxygen mask on. Let's take care of ourselves as, as so we can serve and let's enjoy our life and live it fully, you know? Let's live our lives fully. Let's not live broken, okay? Let's not live with unresolved uh, issues. Let's, let's, let, let, let's, let's not pass on generational curses. Let, let's, let's, let's pass the baton um, and give glory to God. Let, let, let's God say good, good, job faithful servant let's let's do well with what he gave us let's change some things let's face hard things so that we can change things grow and heal and let's live our best life guys this is coming out uh what did i say the fall harper a5 if it's not in now definitely will be this friday i think it's gonna be the new leather release drop guys i love you thank you for joining me today with this plan with me and until next time we're together, 